In some cases, the standard views may not be sufficient based on the documentation requirements. If this is the case, additional views may be needed to make drawings more understandable, legible, and informative. Draftsman makes it easy to create these. Working with these views is similar to working with the standard ones. The commands for creating additional views in the Draftsman editor are grouped in the Place menu, Additional Views, and Active Bar Panels. Some commands are not active without a main view placed in the drawing. For example, the Section view can only be applied to the Assembly view. The Component view is separately rendered from the rest of the PCB design. By default, the view of the first component in the list of project components is placed. The selection of the desired component to display, its orientation, and the view direction are determined in the Properties panel. A section view is placed using the board section view command and can be used to display hidden elements located out of view, or to show the heights of prominent elements on the board. The orientation of the cut and the direction of the view can be changed during or after the placement process using the Properties panel, or by using the Positioning Mode dropdown or the Flip View Direction option. Selecting the Slice Section checkbox will hide objects behind the section plane. The arrow display style is adjusted in the display mode menu and the show connector line checkbox will display or hide the cut line. The detail view is a separate enlarged image of any view of the board. In Draftsman documents, the detail view can be a round or rectangular shape. In the properties panel, the text of the view label, the angle of the location, and the style of the connection line to the source are adjustable. The isometric view is an isometric projection of the board the parameters of which can be changed. The face side menu determines the direction of the view. The variation dropdown allows you to select a variant of the board design if it exists. The display holes menu gives you a choice in how the holes are displayed. The layer stack legend represents the internal structure of the board. You can determine the visible height of each layer in the properties panel from the display mode menu. When you select the default option, all layers will have the same height. When you select real width and heights, the height of the layers will be proportional to the actual thicknesses. And when you select align table rows, the height will correspond to the height of the table rows. The source menu allows you to choose the layer stack legends region. The rigid and flex options are suitable for rigid flex boards. Selecting and unchecking the Show Drill Pairs checkbox toggles the display of blind, buried, or build-up hole types in the Layer Stack legend. In the Layer Information dialog box, we have detailed control over the Layer Stack legend's tabular data, as well as the color and visibility of the graphics. The Board Region view produces a visual representation of several board stackups. For example, a board with flexible and rigid regions. How each stack is displayed can be modified using the Properties panel. When using the Callout tool, the area is recognized automatically and its name is used as the tag, also known as the Callout's text string. The Board Realistic view is a scalable 3D board view. To maintain the size ratio, the Maintain Aspect Ratio checkbox must be enabled. In the View section, you can select the board display side, top, bottom, or custom. Custom allows you to place the current 3D view from the board editor. Once it's positioned correctly, click the Take Current Camera Position to capture the view.